Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. If you always watch our channel, you may know that the news of Chinese latest technology. The existence of the sun is both unfamiliar and familiar to human beings. The description of this celestial body from ancient times to the present is somewhat mythical. The energy of the sun comes from hydrogen nuclear fusion, and the continuously generated high temperature provides us with warmth. As the most ideal new energy source, human beings have been trying to make better use of the energy of nuclear fusion. The bold idea of artificial sun also came into being, and on November 22nd, China National Nuclear Corporation received good news that it successfully prepared the world's first ITER enhanced heat load first wall, which has been confirmed to be ready for mass production. What changes will this bring to mankind? China has completed a breakthrough in core construction. According to the latest statistics, the number of human beings on the earth has exceeded 8 billion. Facing such a huge energy demand, it is obviously not enough to rely on underground fossil resources. Once the resources are exhausted, it will cause serious consequences. Although follow-up try to use water energy, wind energy, fire energy, photovoltaic, etc. to obtain energy, but the cost is high and it will cause certain environmental pollution. It has been scientifically proven that nuclear fusion is an absolutely clean energy source, and its cost is relatively low. It is reported that the energy produced by 1G of nuclear fusion is enough to match the energy of the complete combustion of 8 tons of oil and natural gas. However, the energy released by it is difficult to control. A little carelessness may cause tragedy, but scientists are willing to take this risk for the future of mankind. China, the European Union, India, Japan, South Korea, Russia, and the United States reached a consensus, and the International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor ITER, project took shape. Artificial Sun is another name for the project. China has undertaken about 9% progress and are relatively core components. All countries attach great importance to this project, and the most core scientific researchers have gathered together. China has achieved breakthroughs in core technology many times and has taken the initiative to undertake the most difficult research and development of enhancing the first wall of heat load. This construction directly facing the high temperature plasma of 100 million degrees Celsius in the core, it is the most core core component of the ITER project. At present, this component that directly touches the nuclear reactor has passed the International Safety Certification and even far exceeds the design standard in the corresponding indicators and will soon be able to enter the mass production stage. At present, the world's first manufacturing has been completed. And this first wall has many problems to overcome. The plasma reaction chamber jointly established by seven countries is twice the volume of the Takamak device in operation in China, and the gas volume is even more expanded. Ten times, for such a sophisticated component, the larger the volume, the more difficult it is to manufacture it. In the entire ITER project, the most difficult thing to overcome is this first wall which not only has to withstand the plasma impact of 100 million degrees Celsius, but also protects external components to avoid corresponding damage caused by the impact of particle flow problem. Although there are seven countries participating, China is still far ahead in terms of corresponding technologies. 
Even if the complete autonomy of technologies cannot be achieved in the end, at least they can win equal opportunities for cooperation. This is a sign of the rise of Greater China. What do you think of this?